Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to 6 News. And oh my god, do we have a lot of news to go over. So we've got the picking ban system, which is insane. We're going to go over that later. But uh, it's maybe not as crazy as you think and you're not actually going to have to worry about it. But we're going to go over, over everything from the year 3 panel. So let's start with Rainbow Six Siege as it is. First of all, we were confirmed there is no sequel planned for Rainbow Six Siege. They plan to run Rainbow Six Siege for 10 years and get a hundred operators in total. They also let us know that the game is growing bigger than ever with 27 million players now playing it. It was, wasn't long ago they were telling us it was 25 million. So they're just doing an incredible job. Here is a clip from that. Uh, but let's talk about the future of Rainbow Six and, and kind of what your vision is for that. We, we've communicated already a couple of times about how the vision of the game is to bring uh, it to 100 operators. Today we have 36 operators. Year 3 will bring 8 new operators. But 100, that number is not only a symbol, but it's a testament of the longevity that we want to put in the game. Again, we're claiming extremely loud here. There is no sequel plan, and we're here for the next 10 years. So expect more Rainbow Six in your life for quite some time. They also let us know that there's changes coming to the standard and above edition of the game. This is that all the base operators when you buy the game brand new will be unlocked immediately. So all the base operators, the ones that came with the game originally, so like Thermite and all that, they will be unlocked immediately for no renown whatsoever. No grind, you just have them all, which is great. Now they didn't actually go over the starter edition, they said they were going to talk about changes to the starter edition, so I'm guessing maybe they plan to just put a normal grind from the standard into the starter, which would actually make the starter edition worth buying, crazily enough. So if that's the case, though, uh, that's just a pure guess on that front at the moment. All of the operators in the standard edition, the 20 legacy operators, as we call them, are now also 100% unlocked. So that means that when you do play or do get access to the game with that edition that has the 20 uh, our original operators, it's now you pick whichever you want. But they also let us know that every single attachment will now be purchased for you. This means that you don't have to spend any renown on them. They'll just be unlocked immediately and for free. So as soon as you unlock an operator, bang, you'll have every single attachment, which makes customization a lot easier and, again, less off a grind. More renown to spend on cosmetics. Present and future attachments are now 100% unlocked for all operators. As soon as they get the operator, Absolutely. the attachments are already there and ready to go. All attachments, no need to grind them anymore. So it's going to make your uh, uh, try, your learning ship of every of those uh, guns and attachments much, much, much smoother. Now, the other great news is that they are also adding more data centers for servers, thanks to Microsoft. So they're going to be adding servers in these locations. We have another good news. Well, let's hear it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, we're going to be uh, growing and, 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 and adding new data centers for the game. Uh, that means for everyone in the current region, they will have a lower latency and lower ping when they do play. And I'm super, super pleased to announce that we are opening with the Microsoft Azure two new data centers, one in South Africa and one in South of France that will be covering the South of Europe. So those are two regions that were previously having, I'd say, a lesser of an experience. And now, like, those two regions are going to be benefiting from a much, much, much better experience. Now, let's talk about the big news, the pick and ban system. So this is basically the ability to ban operators on the opposing team. Crazy. And watching this, it was like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. It... I, I kind of like it. It sounds cool. It would totally shake up games. And uh, watching the kind of work in progress footage of how this would work was very interesting. And also they added in a system where you could unlock an operator further into a game and the enemy team wouldn't know you've unlocked it. So it kind of make a, a cool surprise and a cool tactic. But, and they only mentioned this once through the entire stream, is that it's Pro League only. Here's a clip of that. So this is going to have a huge impact on the meta and like you said, putting the meta back in the players' hands. Where can we expect to see this implemented? So that the thing is that we are super proud to announce that the pick and ban will be released for the season two and uh, for proling only. This will become the new format of the competition. So I can't believe they only said that once because the way they were talking about it, they were, it was like, oh, this is going to change the meta of Rainbow Six Siege and 
it's only pro league so you don't have to worry about it it's not gonna be in ranked it's not gonna be in casual uh, i do wonder if it's successful will it end up in ranked eventually we'll have to see because the you know pro league could be the proving ground we've seen the pro leagues map choices end up in a ranked red list so maybe now other news that i'm going to make a separate video about because it's just awesome as hell is they're reworking hereford base so i'll have a separate video out on that because they're not just changing hereford they're changing other maps as well so i'll go over them in a separate video soon anyway guys tell me what you think about all this news is it awesome is it great bad what do you think let me know in the comments below